guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how i draw my brows with this hair wax so please make sure you watch till the end and yes let's just get into it to start off i'm using a little portion of the hair wax on my eyebrow with my finger to make it slick down once i'm done with this i'm going to use a spoolie to further brush the hairs in order to keep them in place in case your eyebrow is more rough than my own you actually notice a very huge difference in this now i'm just using a plate to take off the excess hairs that i don't want i can actually skip this step but i'm actually just doing so you guys can see it so i'm going to start from the top of my eyebrow then i'm just going to take little hairs this actually needs practice like the more you practice the better you get just you know how you want your eyebrow to be at the end of the day so just take your time and take off hairs from those parts that you don't want hairs to be visible i want the beginning part of my eyebrow to be just like a bit full then the tail i want the tail to be a bit tiny that's why i'm just taking hairs out of the end of my eyebrow yes Another thing you should know when you are drawing your brow or when you are carving it is that your brows are actually sisters. They are not twins. Even if they are twins, they are not identical twins. So don't stress yourself over. I want my brows to be exactly the same. No, no, no. You should just, you know, try to make them similar and just continue drawing and just, you know, have fun with it. I'm using the David's pencil in number 18. You can use number three if you want yours to be very dark and deep or if you are darker but well, i just want mine to be light so i'm just going to use it like that then i'm going to follow the natural line and shape of my brows i'm just lightly drawing a brow below my brow like that to know where the tail of your brow is going to end you can actually use your eyebrow pencil to outline it like that you can just draw like a stroke on that side and if you know it then you can just continue drawing your brow for the arc of my brow i'm just going to draw a stroke so that it will be easy when i'm drawing my brow now i'm just going to go ahead and draw my brow i'm just going to follow the natural line and everything the arc i'm going to make sure that the arc is there and i'm just going to finish it up and i'm going to fill it in lightly I'm not pressing into my skin, I'm just slightly putting the color. When I was drawing this brow, I left a little bit of space between the beginning of my brow and where, where I had the top line because I wanted to, you know, like it's transitioning from that beginning to the part that is actually starting from. So now I'm just going to grab my spoolie. My camera is not focusing, and I'm going to brush it up. The wax I will put earlier will just make everything blend seamlessly. Like blending will not be difficult at all. It will just be, it will be easy. If you don't have a spoolie, you can actually use an old toothbrush or the toothbrush that you use for head control. You know? And it will do the same job actually. Once I'm done brushing my eyebrow, I'm just going to move on to concealing the brow. And I'm going to be using a dome brush. If you like, you can actually use a an angle brush from using this stone brush i feel like it's really easy and i'm going to be using the elegant pro concealer in color phone to conceal my brow i'm just gently going to be applying it underneath the concealer that you are going to use to conceal your brow should be a bit lighter than your skin tone it should not be too too light but it should be a bit lighter so i can act like an highlighter once I'm done concealing my eyebrow, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that concealer down to cover my eye. My eye is a bit darker than my skin, so I'm just going to even everything out. To conceal my top brow, I'm going to use a concealer that is a bit darker than the concealer that I used to conceal my brow bone and i'm just going to be applying that this is not actually necessary 
you can actually use your foundation anything you like you know I'm just using a beauty blender to blend the areas that apply the concealer and that brings us to the end of this video of this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching if this video was helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel subscription is free thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys